Hello booktube, my name is Adrian, and welcome back to my channel. So it is Wednesday, which means I have another Top 5 Wednesday topic for you this week. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in America. And so today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is the Top 5 books that you are thankful for. So I have five books here, obviously, that I am thankful for in some way or another. Some more serious than others, some are just plain silly. But for that reason, I'm going to show you these books from my number five pick to my number one pick and tell you why I am thankful for those books. So if you do not know what Top 5 Wednesday it is, every week we are given a topic that is the top five of something. Obviously this week is top five books you are thankful for. And that group is run by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I will link her channel and the Goodreads group down in the description below if you want to check it out for more information and other topics. And so, um, yeah, like I said, I have five books here to show you, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into them. The first book I have here that I am thankful for is The Hiding Place by Cory Ten Boom. This is a nonfiction novel about Cory Ten Boom and her life during the Holocaust. Cory lived in Holland during World War II during the Holocaust. She and her family were Christians who ended up hiding Jews in their homes, thus the hiding place. Um, they ended up hiding Jews in their homes and over the course of time ended up being suspected and her whole family arrested and taken to concentration camps themselves. And so this is her life story from before World War II, during World War II when they were kind of getting involved in the resistance and hiding people and then also her time in concentration camps and a little bit of her time after um, she survived those concentration camps. Uh, I am thankful for this book because this is one of the first books I ever had to, non-fiction books I ever had to read for school and it taught me so much about what life was like during that time in a way that I had never seen it before. Um, I definitely enjoyed this one when reading it. It kind of, I've read this book so many times. It is beaten up, it is torn. The back cover is actually kind of taped on because it tore off. Um, I've read this book a lot and every time I read it, I'm reminded of how grateful I am um, that there are people like Corey's family in the world who would give up their own lives potentially in order to save other people from persecution. So I definitely am thankful that this book exists because it taught me a lot in my life. The fourth book that I am thankful for is more of a silly reason um, and that is The Phil and Boyfriend by Casey West. If you've ever been to this channel before, you may notice that I can't seem to go video at all without talking about Casey West and her novels. And in this case, I have The Fill-In Boyfriend. I chose this book as one that I am thankful for because this book never fails to get me out of a reading slump. If I'm in a reading slump, I'm usually in a bad mood, usually. And I can read this book or any one of Casey West's books and it never fails to bring me out of that mood and out of that slump. And so I am thankful for this book and all of her other works because I, I always could use a little pick-me-up and these cute short little contemporaries are definitely uh, a good way to bring me out of that song. The third book I have that I am thankful for is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Uh, this was um, the first fandom book I ever read, a book in which it talked about uh, fandom in a way that wasn't demeaning. Uh, people who spend their time on the internet and are involved in groups um, were not looked down upon in this book. It was the first time that had ever happened in my life and I related to Cather, the main character, so much partly because I was also in my first semester of college which Cather, the main character, is as well um, in this novel and I related to her on a level that I had not related to book characters before and so this book definitely uh, is one I'm thankful for because it um, kind of reminded me that just because I'm a little different than everybody else in the way that I react to books and you know things and pop culture and the fandom side of things does not make me weird it just you know makes me who I am so this is definitely a book that I am thankful for 
And then along a very similar vein, the second book I have that I am thankful for is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I am thankful for this book in a very similar reason as I am thankful for Fangirl, and that is that this book touches on fandom and, you know, the creation of art and um, being a person who, you know, kind of lives on the internet in a way that nothing else has. Fangirl did in a way and then this this was more along a line of what I was used what I am more familiar with in my life now. Uh, Fangirl was very much how I was when I read it then and Eliza and Her Monsters is how I am now. Being out of college and still being involved in fandoms and in you know having real life to deal with but also having this part of me that enjoys spending time on the internet and enjoys uh, books specifically in my case and the fandoms that come along with them and having that online community that loves them as well and that I can talk to about it um, was represented so well in this book and I related to this book so much that there were times where characters would say things in here and I would literally have to put the book down and stop and laugh because I had said something like that or those exact words you know in my own life I'm you know talking to my husband or to my family and the people's reactions to those sentences in this book were very much the same and so I'm definitely thankful for this book because it again reminds you reminded me that you know there's nothing wrong with being a little weird even as an adult um, and to be involved in fandom and it was just beautiful and I love this book and I am definitely thankful for it. And the last book that I have to show you that I am thankful for is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones that I got. It was just beautiful and I love it and I just kind of want to show it off. But also this is a book that I am very thankful for in my life and that is because this was a book that I got helped kind of bring me back into reading. Um, I'd always, I've always loved reading since I was a kid, but you know, as I grew up and got into preteen years, I didn't read as much. And uh, a very good friend and someone who was very important in my life uh, recommended this book to me and this series to me. And so I picked this book up and I loved it and I read through it and I flew through the other books that were out at the time, which really was only. Uh, this one in City of Ashes were the only books out at the time. I read them both and I kept up on the series and I'm still up to date on the series now and I will probably forever continue to be up to date on this series. Um, but this book and this series are very important to me and I'm very thankful for them because they brought me back into reading and the fandom world but also because the individual who recommended these books to me has since passed away and so I have a very special connection with these books being that he was the one that introduced them to me and that as the world grows I can still you know think back to these books and reading them with him as they were coming out um, and yeah so I have a very special connection to these books and I am thankful for uh, them in my life in the sense of bringing me back to reading and then also uh, holding such important memories to me. So there you go guys, those are the top five books that I am thankful for. Um, I hope that all of you have a very happy Thanksgiving tomorrow if you live in America and if you don't, I hope you have a very happy Thursday. And um, yeah, that is all I have for this top five Wednesday video and I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, uh, please like, maybe subscribe if you want to see other content that I post. Um, I post videos every Friday and then either Tuesday or Wednesday. That is all I have for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!